I don't think people understand what an advertisement is actually supposed to do. An advertisement is supposed to program you in order to get you to spend monies in a certain place for a certain thing. An advertisement is supposed to subliminally affect your subconscious without you knowing in order to have its highest and best effect. BBN Jack Frost, what's up party people? Hey, before the video even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Alright, so I'm assuming everybody's already seen the Dove ad where you have the uh, very, very nice, complected, and pretty young black lady uh, pull off the brown shirt, and then the shirt comes off, and there's a white lady underneath. Um... Who I'm not saying is unattractive at all, you know, I, 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 I particularly like melanated uh, skin, I find it a little bit more attractive, but I'm going to guess most white people find melanated skin a little bit more attractive too, because they hang out at the beaches, but um, that, that's not saying if a, a person is uh, white, they can't be attractive, there's tons of attractive, there's just as many attractive white people as they are of other races, like, attraction is... You know, uh, deals with the individual. I'm not bad mouthing anybody. I just want to say that because this is the internet and people get, uh, get butt hurt over everything. But the point that I'm trying to make is, is that these are those subliminal ads, these, the, the subliminal mind effery that they're constantly trying to have going on. And everybody is thinking that this ad was aimed at adults because that's what would be the thought. That this ad was aimed at adults. But my belief is the people who made this ad knew exactly what they were doing. And they were not aiming this ad at adults. This ad wasn't intended for adults to be the ones to process and, and ingest basically the uh, story or the um, the uh, message that they were trying to send. This this ad, in my belief, is aimed at young, melanated black girls. Young, melanated females. Whether you black, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Venezuelan. No idea why I keep saying Venezuelan. I might meet a Venezuelan woman soon. I don't know. Keep saying Venezuelan. I know one thing. I'm not going to Venice because Venezuela. Is that a place? Is it Venice? Venezuela? Anyway, that's not the point. I'm getting sidetracked here. My point being is this, that ad was aimed at melanated, young melanated women, impressionable women, impressionable, young melanated females, because there's just, as always, there's always been an attack on melanated people, and I'm not here to preach, I'm not here to be pro-black, Although I am absolutely pro-black. I'm not here to be pro-black. I just want to explain why I believe this particular ad does so much harm. I think that um, melanated people should stay away from Dove. I don't think this was an attack on black people in general. See, that's what... You see, just looking at it, that's going to be the the, uh, the the first thing that a person is going to get from it. Oh, man, they're attacking black people. They're trying to tell black girls to be like white girls. Nah, they're not trying to say that. They're not trying to tell black girls to be like white girls. What they're trying to say is, is that you're this way, but in order for you to truly be clean, you will look that way. In order for you to truly be beautiful, you have to look closer to that other thing. You understand? Like, this is just my perception of it. 
Now, um, I find light-skinned females attractive. I find dark-skinned females attractive. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I got a thing for Alex Holy. If anybody does not know who that that gorgeous, she must be like a, a angel princess. Like, could could you be an angel princess? Is that a possibility? Because you know, everybody tells that that dumb job is full out of heaven, uh, wings, angels, shit like that. And then there's always like the princess pickup lines. And all of them are terrible. All pickup lines are terrible. You know what I'm saying? You got to come up with something right on the spot. Be witty. That's that's the best thing you could do is be witty. Right on the spot type stuff. But the point being is, can you have an angel princess? I'm curious about this. Anyway, Alex Holy, she is a, um, <laughs> she's a, she's a, a host of a, uh, in Philadelphia or on the morning news. And she is just absolutely gorgeous. So, but, you know, I wouldn't consider her, I wouldn't consider her dark skin, maybe brown skin. Brown skin to light skin, but the, my point being is, is that you don't have to be freaking looking like Wesley Snipes in order to be, you, you don't have to be as dark as well as Wesley Snipes to be attractive. That's all I'm saying. Attraction comes in every shade, but when we try to say that one shade is more attractive than another shade, and then to, and then we compound that by saying one race is more attractive than another race, then there's a problem. And that's where the issue is, and that's why I think that melanated people should probably stay away from, for, away from, uh, away from Dove. I think I got a list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to compile. I think I'm gonna try to compile a list of uh, some black run, maybe beauty products. Now we gotta start spending money with our own, you know, just not just black run, but. Also, you know, uh, just minority run. It don't gotta be black. Like, see, that, that's another way that they keep us separated, you know. We all minorities. You know, if you're not white, you're the minority. Alright? That's just what it is. And, um... So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to compile a list. But that's, that's the problem I have with the, with the whole Dove thing. Like, you know, know what's going on. Everybody needs to sit their daughters down. Pardon me. Everybody needs to sit their daughters down. And, um, had that talk with them, you know? People, people don't understand how fragile confidence is. Confidence is fragile. And when we live in a world that's constantly picking away at our confidence, especially the confidence of our young ladies, you know, we have to, we have to be proactive and we have to, uh, you know, get ahead of the problem. You know, don't wait for the problem to happen and then... And then all of a sudden have all of these different ways to fix the problem. We got to get in front of the problem. So, this is something we could get in front of. You know? Teach self-love. That ad does the opposite. Anyway, that's all I got on this one. So, I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Not for nothing. Um, do do y'all really think that, that it was as insulting as I think it is? I thought it was really insulting. But, um, I think more than that... I think they knew that they were going to get backlash from it, but they didn't care because putting that message out was more important than the backlash that they could possibly get because it's just not going to hurt their pockets. They're dove. You know, it's not like, it's not like, uh, I'm pretty sure Microsoft don't, you know, um, AT&T don't care about a little bit of bad publicity. They, they're still going to make their money. They're still going to grow. You know, certain certain companies can grow. They don't, they don't, they don't digress. You know, their, their production doesn't go down. They they consistently grow. You know what I'm saying? So certain companies consistently grow. So a little bit of bad press here and a little bit of bad press there. You know, and think about the time that they put it out with all of this uh race, this race um. I don't want to call it a race war, but with all of the the problems that we have in uh, due to race in the country right now with the president that we do have that won't call Nazis terrorists but is quick to uh speak negatively about any people of color that will protest being uh unfairly treated He's quick to speak negatively about the people who are of color that don't want to be treated like second-class citizens, but he is not 
as quick or not at all does he say anything negative about the uh, domestic terrorism that be that is committed by uh, Caucasians. He doesn't actually he doesn't actually comment on those things. Like I didn't did, did anybody hear him come out and speak negatively about that shooter yet? I haven't I haven't seen anything, especially since you know he tweeted. Hundreds of times about Colin Kaepernick, maybe hundreds of times. I don't know. I'm kind of exaggerating, but um, I haven't seen him say anything at all about about the shooter. So, you know, I'm just pointing stuff out. I might not be right. I may be 100% wrong, but you know, these are just my feelings on the matter. Anyway, uh, put some comments down below. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag bounce bonus. Let's get it. Y'all love y'all. Keep each other safe. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.